She's a Grammy Award-winning singer and songwriter, a dancer, a producer, and a fashion icon. You're about to see Madonna in a way she's never been seen before. Now we can do this the easy way or the hard way. Or my way. Okay, guys, on three. Why on three? That's just how we do it. Why not five? Are you new here? Four of you attacking one woman. Aren't you ashamed of yourselves? No, no. Pick on someone your own size. Never. Long live the king. Oh, my daughter. <laughs> That is right. Madonna is the voice of the elf princess Selenia in the new movie, Arthur and the Invisibles. Ma Madonna, good morning to you. You have to turn around and wave to these folks. They are dying to see you. <laughs> why are they up so early? <laughs> because, uh, see, this is why. They said to me yesterday, they said she's never done the Today Show. I'm going, how could she never have done the Today Show live? Is it that you don't like getting up? or I don't like getting up and talking to people this early. Really? Yes. So what possessed you? Um, Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the producer of the movie. They always get you in the end. Well, welcome, welcome. It's so good to see you. And your yeah, hair looks nice beautiful. You. Thanks. Well, I was, I saw I my... was asleep while it was being done. See, yeah. I saw my career flashing before my eyes when they said you weren't here. Uh, I wondered if I had done something. Uh, no, I'm, but it's, that's, that's get into my world because I'm always seeing my career flash before my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time it flashed before your eyes? Um, well, I was promoting my album about a, a year ago, and I was really late for a live radio show, and I had to literally run six blocks to get to it. Oh and my I gosh. was late. It was terrible. Tell so me about it, this. That happens yeah, it happens well. a lot. But because well, you're so busy, too, is part of it. And now you're also have... late. <laughs> well, you are late, but we're not going to rub that in because okay. you're here now. And I want to talk about the movie because yeah. it is a Madonna that we've never seen before. You play an elf. What possessed you to I play take an elf? And I, I play a princess, which is yes. new for me. Why did you want to play this role? <laughs> um, why did I want to? Um, well, I, the bottom line is that it was it was it was offered to me by Luc Besson, who's a good friend of mine, a talented filmmaker, and um, I just loved the idea of playing a character where I could create a fantasy world that had nothing to do with who I am or what people associate me with, and just completely ignore the physical part of me. I but could be, it, it, become someone else, essentially. You were kidding about, you know, playing a prison, princess, which is uh, not really here. But it, it's sort of people do perceive of you in a way like that. No, With a no, bit no, of no, no, no. They perceive of me as a queen, not a queen. <laughs> uh, That's right. A I'm princess. Okay. And I don't normally fall in love with 10-year-olds. No, well, I hope not. So... Yeah. <laughs> did, as a little kid, did you have an active imagination? Because I, when I was little, I was thinking about this watching the movie. I believed in leprechauns. Yeah. I actually dreamt about that pot of gold at the end of the rainbow a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I believed in leprechauns, but I did think about fairy godmothers. And, and I, I also thought that um, the devil lived under the stairs in my house. So Why would you think that? Because uh, uh, I was raised Catholic. <laughs> 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 I don't know. Yes, I had an active imagination. I think that's how I ended up here. Yeah. Just because your, your, your head was always working. Yeah. You know, Dreaming, we, scheming, imagining, fantasizing. Yeah. Did you bring a coat? Do I look cold? Yeah, you do. And you said you thought it was very hot here. I'm just wondering. Everyone said it was 70 degrees in New York, so we didn't bring winter clothes. Oh, because I was going to take you out. These people want to say hello to you. Really? Yes. I'm sure someone will let me borrow. Yeah, we'll their borrow a coat before yeah. we leave the interview. But okay. I want to ask you: we, this whole week we've been looking at 55 years of the Today Show. Mm -hmm. We decided we wanted to take you down memory lane. Oh, so I'm going to show you some pictures, and I want you to tell me what comes into your mind. Burning up video from the early 80s. What was that time like for you? Burning up. The burning up video from the early 80s. Oh, gee, that's the first video I ever made. Yeah. Did you sense then that something big was going to happen to no, you? No. Not at all? No. So what was your goal then? I was just a girl trying to get a job. Honestly, I just wanted to get one song played on the radio. That was my goal. I wasn't thinking big enough. I had no idea. And then here you are, uh, let's see, 84, forget like a, no one can forget like a virgin, launched your career. Three years later, you sat down with Jane Pauley and you had this to say. I hate this part. <laughs> Do you like people to look at you? Mm, most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> so embarrassing. What now, why is it embarrassing? It's, well, do you like looking at your high school yearbook? Mm, I don't hate it. Yeah. I don't mind it. I mean, but if, every, if you were, if you started your career when you were very young, which you might possibly have, I, I did. Pretty well, young. But if everything you said 
could and was held accountable against you for well, is there anything that you said that now you say I wish I hadn't done no that? no it's not that it's just embarrassing I was incredibly um, precocious and naive and and, and all those things. It's okay. I, I forgive myself for it, but it's a little, it's slightly embarrassing. When you look back now, <laughs> can you believe how far you have come? Yeah, because I've worked really hard to be where I am. So, yeah. I can believe it. <laughs> okay, well, I want to talk to you a little bit more, and I want to get you out in the crowd. We're going to find okay. a code for you. We'll okay. be back right after this with more Madonna. Okay. <laughs> The New York Times broke. And we are back with Madonna. We can't get enough of you. I want to ask you what's on your mind these days, but before I do that, how are the kids? The last time I saw you, it was it was actually Halloween. That was, was the day. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. And you were just um, ad starting the adoption process. No, no, no. I wasn't just starting the adoption process. That that was. Well, David was back ago. with you. I was just starting to adjust to having three children yeah. versus two. Yeah. And how how is that? Amazing, amazing. We went on our first holiday together over Christmas. Where'd you guys go? I'm not telling. Oh, okay. <laughs> hot, cold, very hot, very hot. Um, yeah, we all got to run around in our bare feet and ride bikes in our bare feet and. It was lovely. It was, it, is it, was it an really easier fun. adjustment than you thought it would be, or harder? Yeah, or? because I can um, get my older daughter to babysit for me. Does so. she like that? She, yeah, actually, both of the kids are really great with him. And I saw a picture so. of the three of them together, and I think you may have said, commented on this, that he just, David just looks like he belongs in this family, even yeah. physically, his fa everything about I think him. He's got big eyes, big wide set eyes. I must have been attracted to him because there was some resemblance somewhere. Somewhere, yeah. absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm glad everything's working out. Yeah. Now, what, <laughs> are there things that you've said that, have, I mean, obviously there are through your career that maybe, you know, because you are outspoken, that can get you into trouble. Yeah, well, I did say the F word a few times in David. Don't do that now. I'm not going to. <laughs> All right. I don't swear anymore. I have children. Is that what stopped you? No. Because <laughs> <laughs> so, that's how have a, we have a, um, you get penalized for saying bad words in our house. So I'm actually the person that has to pay the most amount of fines. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, looking back over your career, I have to bring the picture up. It's the famous, it's the kiss. Not which one? The, which one? The Britney Spears <laughs> Madonna kiss. I've kissed that caused a lot of controversy at uh -huh. the time. You were close to Britney then. Are you still? Have you been able to give her? Because she's been in the, the media a lot, especially over the uh, holidays. No, I haven't. I mean, we just worked together at that period of time. We did a record together. We did a TV show together. And um, we shared a kiss. And... You know, I never saw her again. You see, that's how it goes in my life. <laughs> <laughs> you kiss them and then they leave you. Exactly. It's just not right. It's totally unfair. It's, well, so you know, no more conversation with her at all, huh? Um, well, I, I wouldn't say that we were the best of friends. It was just a kind of a period of time where we were working together, and um, I, I kind of, you know, I struck up a bit of a friendship with her. But I live in England. She lives in Los Angeles, and she ran off and got married and had kids, and we kind of just drifted apart. It wasn't anything intentional. We've been talking about uh, Kate Middleton, who's uh, Prince William's girlfriend, girlfriend yeah. yeah, and showing the pictures of her being hounded by the paparazzi. You yeah. live in London. I imagine that's all over the tabloids constantly. Yeah. Uh, what's they're, your impression of all of that? Uh, well, about the paparazzi hounding you. <sighs> Do you still get that in England? Yeah. Constantly? Yeah. Well, England's a small country. There's only one city. There's a co big concentration of celebrities living there, and so, you know, they're, they just kind of, you, you, you get, there's a, a handful of people that get a lot of harassment, and there's a lot of focus on. Whereas in America, it's all spread out, they live all over the place, you know what I mean? It's not so intense. So the royal family has asked that, that, that the paparazzi stay away from that couple. Will, will the paparazzi, from your experience? Probably for 10 minutes. And then go right back to it. How do you deal with it, then, on a daily basis? Um... I just, I mean, how do I deal with it? I just pretend I'm not there. Just yeah. live your life? Yeah. Are you ready to go outside and greet Let's some go people? Up. Let's, Let's go, go out and live on. my life. <laughs> we'll get your coat. Okay. How long are you in New York for? Um, just a few days. And just promoting the movie? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you've seen it, so do you of enjoy it? Of course I've seen All it. All right. Well, what do you love about it? Yourself me. as an elf. <laughs> <laughs> I love me. They've all been waiting to talk to you. Come on. Whoops. Hello, Madonna. How are you? Good. Happy New Year. You too. Happy New Year. We don't get this opportunity with you very often, oh, and we yeah. appreciate it. Aren't you going to wear a coat? 
You could kiss me if you wanted to. Aren't you going to wear a coat? I'll wear a coat. Oh, it's Tom Shepard. Me too. A kiss, another kiss. Yeah, sure. Oh, you're not going to wear a coat. I got a coat right now. We can't tell you how much we appreciate you coming out, seriously. No, you won't be tripped. Go right that way. Oh, my God. I told you. Right here, you can go right here. Do you, Madonna, do you miss New York? Oh, oh God, I miss it so much. Do you really? Yeah. I keep telling my husband I want to come back here and I want to live here. And do you I, think I, you I, will? Uh, I do actually. I'd like to come here and spend time here. Yeah. And you have your DVD coming out in January, right? Yes, it is. Confession Store DVD. Is this for me or her? Yes, it is. It's for you. Oh, when you greet your okay. fans, I'm going to turn her over to the people who love her, <laughs> including us. Thanks so much for joining. Yeah, it better. Madonna, this is today. I mean. <laughs>